Welcome to another edition of the Buttercom Telecom Files. This time I would like to talk to you about the situation of the National Broadband Network in Australia, an update of where we are at the moment. Um, last year in 2011 we've seen enormous progress with the, this national infrastructure in Australia. We've seen that uh, the legislation has been passed uh, and we also saw the uh, all-important negotiations between Telstra and the government uh, NBNCO uh, regarding the um, uh, agreement on uh, utilizing the uh, telecommunications infrastructure from Telstra. Obviously when we can use that one in Australia then uh, it's, uh, it's uh, far more cost efficient and, and, and it goes far quicker because you can utilize the existing infrastructure. Furthermore, just at the end of the year there was an agreement on the structural separation regulations of Telstra between the industry and Telstra and the ACCC. Um, there is one outstanding issue that's in relation to the transition period and the use of the ADSL network from Telstra, ADSL 2 Plus network for Telstra uh, for the um, uh, competitors during the transmission time. Uh, but it looks like that uh, in principle agreements have now been arranged and that uh, this issue is no longer a major issue that is standing in the way of the full rollout of uh, the NBN. Now obviously, um, you know, all of these negotiations uh, uh, take time you know if you have to negotiate an 11 billion dollar deal with Telstra and you have to come to an agreement with Telstra that they basically have to change their total business model and their total organization in order to move forward then that's not something that you can do easily and quickly uh, it is also very important that we set this up on the right foundations you know this is something for the next 25 35 years and you don't want to have any major issues lumbering in the in the background as being uh, uh, possibilities of of derailing the project a little bit further down uh, down the track so you need to have the right foundation in place and that looks like that um, you know that that is the case obviously there are question marks um, Australia is the first country in the world to do that the bleeding edge so will the wholesale arrangements with the the uh, the backhaul network and the, the, the 121 point of inter exchange will that work do we get enough competition in that wholesale area for uh, for retailers uh, obviously we'll have to wait and see but the ACCC is very much aware of issues like that and they have the power to interfere if uh, you know or not intervene but perhaps you know more uh, fine-tune uh, once you actually start getting underway and you see the results happening now, because of all these uh, uh, ongoing uh, activities and uh, the, the, the reason that you need a sound foundation, obviously the first year plan is not really going to uh, according to what has been pronounced by the government uh, uh, at the beginning of the project two years ago. Uh, and that means that fewer people are connected to the, inter to the uh, NBN by the end of 2011 than was uh, projected. Now, you talk about, you know, obviously only thousands of people, you're not talking about millions of people people at this stage but that of course is trumpeted by the opposition and by the right-wing media as being you know a good indication that the NBN isn't working I, I totally disagree with that because if we don't get the foundations right as I mentioned before you know I think we will have cr much greater problems further down the track and having a negotiation with Telstra have an agreement with Telstra that we can utilize uh, their network then obviously uh, the Australian uh, public will will be profiting from that because you don't have to overbuild a network Work, and we all, uh, all people in Australia will, will, will benefit from that agreement with, uh, with Telstra. So if that takes half a year longer, you know, on the 10 year infrastructure plan, then I don't think that uh, that's going to be a major issue. Obviously, uh, you know, NBNCO will have to deliver. 2012 will be a critical year for them. Uh, by the end of this year, you know, they should have been able to, um, uh, to be on target and have the number of uh, connections in place that, that they are promising. Uh, uh, so yes, there's a lot of pressure on NBN Co to deliver, uh, but uh, so far so good. The foundations are right. 2012 will be the year where uh, lots, you know, up to perhaps half a million people in Australia will actually uh, be able to start uh, seeing connections ready to, uh, to the NBN. Thank you for uh, listening to me and I'm looking forward uh, for the next episode of the Buttercom Files and at the end of the clip you will find some further links uh, on, uh, to information on this uh, topic. Thank you very much.